What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl here. And I know y'all kind of like, girl, what you doing up so late? Well, I cannot sleep, but while I could not sleep, I was doing some digging and trying to figure out some things. So, I want to talk about the relationship between Ken and his brother, Chris. Now, I didn't find out till late in the game, probably back a year ago, that Chris, that Ken had a twin brother named Chris, Okay. Um, they do not seem as if they are close, but you know, we don't know because that's like, that's personal life stuff. But I noticed that in their vlogs and Ken and Diara's vlogs, you don't really see much of his family. You always see him with a lot of her family. You know, Diara shows her mom, her brother, her cousins, you know, they do the holidays at, um, Diara's family's house. And, you know, stuff like that. And you don't really see too much of that with Chris, you know, with Ken and Chris and his mom. So, um, at the engagement party, we did see his brother and we did see his mom. You know, I know they did do, I know Deara and Ken did a video with the mom. I guess they like, they don't want to be too much on camera. And that's understandable because not everybody wants to be on camera. You know what I'm saying? But this whole scandal with Ken cheating on the air with that girl in the parking lot. We all know, okay, but well, he's saying that he just met her, whatever. You don't do that to somebody who you just meet. So maybe he know the girl and he's ashamed to say, Hey, I this is what happened, or whatever. I knew her for a while, or or whatever it is. But when um Chris spoke out and people was like saying, Well, you know, twin um kid have a twin. And his brother shut that down. He was like, no, I, that is not me. That is my brother. And you know what? And he's getting bullied for that by some people. He's getting bullied. People are saying mean and nasty things to him on his Instagram and Twitter account. But I feel as if the reason why Ken and Chris aren't close like that is because they live a different lifestyle. Um, Chris is not don't have a lavish lifestyle his he has more of a wild side to him okay you know when you follow him on instagram you see that he smokes you know his marijuana and stuff like that and then not only that he's a porn he he does porn he's an amateur porn and he put that out there himself and that's if you go to his twitter page you will see a whole listen let me just tell you something he's not ashamed of what he do or what he did he's he has an only fans account I don't know what that is. I know he said he has OnlyFans. He's just trying to probably get his money up by slinging D and, you know, whatever the case may be. But I guess Ken, because of his brand with the era and they have more of like a family um, channel, I guess maybe that's why they don't, Ken and Chris don't really do anything together because Ken don't want to mess up his brand. I'm just guessing here. Um, but they do seem like they don't have a close relationship. And, you know, and some, just because somebody is twins doesn't mean they tight, tight, you know. I grew up with a, a, a set of twins that couldn't stand each other. <clears throat> and they were identical. So, you know, they have issues. Not all twins are close, you know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. So, I was just looking through Chris' um, Instagram and his Twitter. He got, well, he's on YouTube. He, you know, does gaming and stuff like that. And I'm like, wow, he lives a total different life. Now, when he was on live today on his Instagram account, you know, sometimes people could think they could look in your house and tell you how you live. I'm not sure, but maybe he might stay in a hotel or extended stay. I'm not sure. It's just the way the room set up. And people were asking him that. Are you staying in an extended stay? Are you in a hotel? What's going on? You weird. You don't look nothing like Ken. You know, they were just saying you ugly. You, um, you, what are you doing? You know, you take, you chasing the clout and all that kind of stuff. But what I don't understand is he's not chasing any clout. How can he chase clout when the clout came to him? All he said was that was not him in that picture. That was Ken. That was it. People went looking for his Instagram and all that kind of stuff. And they do that and just to leave nasty notes. They asking him about Ken. Maybe he don't know too much about his brother. Do you Did you really expect for him to take the heat for Ken? No, I wouldn't take the heat. Nothing like that. You know, um, I don't know if he has a girlfriend. He said he was single, but I don't know. 
I don't know if he has a girlfriend or not. But, you know, he doesn't want to be put in that spotlight. And just because somebody is your brother doesn't mean they have to they have to take the heat for you. You know, some may agree with me and some may not agree with me. That's fine. But um, they live a, they live two different lifestyles, okay? And when Ken first started out with Diara on their channel, he didn't look like he had a lot either. Even though he was working at, I think he was working at Home Depot, he didn't look like he had much either. And as time went on, and as they became, as they started blowing up, you know. He started to dress a little better, and when the offers started coming in, and they started the brand deal started coming in, he started to look a lot better. I think he doesn't want to go back to living like that. Once you get a taste of the good life, or whatever the case may be, you don't want to go back and live like that. Um, I also seen some people say in the comment section, like, you know, why Ken don't look out for his brother and hook him up, whatever. Why he, you know, why they living like that, and why he living like this. Let me tell you something. Just because a sibling has money does not mean he has to take care of his family. It's okay to look out for them every once in a while. Or you need some money, you need some bread. Okay, I'll pull you up for a little bit and give you some. Yeah, but he is not obligated to carry them or his brother. Now, maybe, you know, um, Chris came on his channel before. I think he helped him move in the apartment they are now. So from the apartment they was living in before this one to another one he was on the camera then um he's a bit on ken's camera a little bit you know not too much people know his face they know who he is but if he could have been blew up from there some people don't want the spotlight maybe his brother don't want the spotlight on him or whatever the case may be but now he has no choice because he spoke out and said that wasn't him so now his Instagram is like 18,000 and change now. His YouTube channel is about, what, three-something now? I mean, he's growing, but the only reason why he's growing like that because they want to know what's going on with Ken. And I don't think it's fair for, you know, some of you guys to bash Chris about Ken. You know, that's your brother. Why you ain't look out? I'm saying you want him to lie? I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right. Especially, I mean, what if Chris has a girlfriend? Okay? You want him to lie and then mess up his, his relationship with his girlfriend? You know, just, just to say. You, you you can't, he can't do that. You know, you can't do that. So, I don't believe in bashing people. But, um, I think the reason why Ken and Chris, they are not tight, tight, is because they live two different lifestyles. Um, like I said, if you go to his, <laughs> Chris, um, Twitter page, yeah, you will see a whole, 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 whole lot of stuff. <laughs> and I'm just going to leave it at that. You're going to see a whole bunch of stuff. And I guess maybe Chris don't want to, how can I say it? He doesn't want no part to that. You know, there's no doubt that he loves, he loves his family, no doubt. But maybe he doesn't want any part of that. And he doesn't want to lose any brand deals because of that. Um, Because they're in two different types of worlds you get what i'm saying so i don't know it just seems to me as if like with diara her family is very supportive of her um she's always she's she's very close with her family very close i wish we could see more of that for ken i would like to see him interact with his brother more and his mom more you know but like i said before maybe they don't want to be on camera when he's vlogging i would love to see them sp him spend a holiday with his family like how he spent holidays with Diarra's family but at the same time we don't know the whole dynamic of what's going on with them so um whatever it is I just hope that they could they can overcome it I do hope that you know in the future Chris and Ken could be tight tight if they not you know I wish they can they could be um it asks for Chris I hope that, you know, one day he hit he hit on something and it would give him the threat, you know, it would push him to be successful in his social media career if he's looking for one. Um, you know, he does a lot of stuff on OnlyFans and he be advertising on Twitter about what he need and, you know, you're getting some responses now, let me tell you. So if you're going to go over there, 
if you want to go over there, <laughs> don't say I didn't warn you, okay? But um, I don't judge anybody. If hey, you got to get it how you get it. You know what I'm saying? So I just I wanted to come in and talk about that because that's been on my mind, and I just want to say, you know, Chris don't deserve to get bashed for what Ken did. That's Ken is a whole grown man. He was out there. He being sloppy with his stuff. You know, he thought he was in a safe zone. He was chilling outside with the girl. And he got caught up. He got caught. You got When you do dirt, you're going to eventually get caught. You know, so he has to stand in that. I don't think his brother needs to stand in that for him. Chris can need to take responsibility for what he did. You know, and don't blame it on Chris. But I also don't think it's fair that people are bashing Chris and saying mean things to Chris. Like... I mean, what you want him to do, you know? But anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this whole thing with Ken? And do you, what? why do you think that Chris and Ken aren't as tight as, um, as they should be? So um, let me know in the comment section, guys. And I will talk to you guys later. Um, if you want to take a peek at what Chris is doing over there, on his little Twitter page, if you don't know it already, I will leave it down in the description box or maybe in the, I'll leave it in the comment section. Uh, I'll have it in there and then I'll take it off and y'all can go and look, whatever. <laughs> you know, maybe he's trying to get his social media account up. So, you know, go over there and I guess show him some love on his Instagram. Um, show him some love over there on his Twitter page and show him some love over on his YouTube page. Um, maybe he's trying this maybe he's just trying to get noticed on the YouTube on social media and it happened this way, you know. Um he seemed like he's a really chill, laid back kind of dude. You know, um he doesn't seem like he bothers anybody. He just seems like he's in his own little world. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't seem like a real bad dude. And I can't say he's a, a bad dude or a good dude. I don't know him. But his aura doesn't give me, like, problematic. You get what I'm saying? I just think that he just chill, laid back. He smoked. He just do him. He got a little wild side to him. As to where Ken, not so much. Or maybe he did have a wild side to him. And he changed because he got, you know, this brand with him and Like uh, You never know what somebody's past what they did before you know you just never know all right guys so that's it so i'm about to lay it down and i will talk to you guys tomorrow